We've been seeing more and more large whales in, inshore in the areas around Virginia Beach and in Virginia waters inshore. They're actually swimming through the water and essentially taking large gulps of water with these schools of menhaden in them and then they filter the water out and the fish are left behind. When they can find schools of fish like that, that's a perfect food for them. And that's really what's bringing them inshore here in, in Virginia. I mean, we've had years where there have been more than 100 whales around. And uh, they're not only along the ocean front, but they're following these schools of menhaden into the bay as well. We're seeing them up into the bay as well. Well, menhaden's a herring-like fish, and, and uh, it is often grouped into a group of fish called forage fish. They're very clearly one of the most important uh, forage fishes that there is for Virginia. I mean, from a, a whole lot of species. We've talked about large whales, but they're a significant part of the diets of bottlenose dolphins. And of course, they're very significant for, for uh, avian predators like, like uh, osprey and bald eagles. And, uh, and they're, they're a very common prey for a lot of game fish like striped bass. And, I think that the, the movement toward ecologically based management and setting aside a significant portion of the stock for, for uh, that side of the ecology of the species and how important it is to all these other, of these other animals and animal species, I think that's critical to the future of Menhaden and the future of a healthy ecosystem in Virginia.